In a deep forest a short distance from the land of fire lies the hidden dream village. Originally nothing more than the hidden village of a tiny country, it became known for its control of a massive guardian beast called the Three Heads. That power made it superior even to the five great nations. It formed a pact of peace with the Hidden Leaf and the two became allies. That alliance has maintained balance among the nations, keeping each in check. However, the Nine Tails, the tailed beast of the Hidden Leaf. You couldn't possibly defeat it. But then the village will be... We'll evacuate as quickly as possible. So... The Leaf have betrayed us, have they? How did it go? Everything is going according to plan. How about you? Already I trust? The arrangements have already been made. 
The rest is up to you. with you. Look alive, would ya? Man, shut up. Why are you on our team anyway, Shikamaru? Got a problem with that? No, but... Yanbu applied pressure. And got Sai assigned to a special mission. So now Shikamaru's here. To fill his place. Besides, I thought we might need Shikamaru's brain on this mission. What's this special mission? No idea. But Sai was a member of the Anbu's root division. Donzo must have pulled some strings. I bet he did. That said, I don't know the details either. There must be some hidden motive here. Listen though, these kidnappings... It sounds like all the targets have been hidden leaf ninja. If our ninja are being taken this easily, it can't be a simple case of kidnapping. Then who's behind it? We're going to look for clues to that now, remember? We'll be there soon. No more chit-chat. All right, is everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay then, let's go over the details of this mission. A Hidden Leaf Chunin was kidnapped here at Blue Fire Falls. Our objective is to search the site for clues to the incident. Walk around the area. Find any clues you can and report them. That said, there are lots of wild animals around here. Keep your wits about you, got that? Yes, yes sir! sir! Let's go back and report. So, are these the kidnappers? Not a chance. There's no way our tuning would have been caught by them. They're just bandits. They steal things from travelers. Our kidnappers have got to be a different bunch. Then this was just a waste of time? No. Now we have a clue. I think I found a trace of the kidnappers. A trace? Footprints. The footprints at the site had jagged edges. They had a unique shape, too. These guys were probably outfitted for crossing damp and swampy ground. And the moss in those footprints... It doesn't grow in this area. If we give this moss to the analysis team, they may get something from it. I'm already on it. Pakun's on his way now. We should know the results of the analysis shortly. You're awesome, Sensei! I was worried that maybe you'd gone senile from being in the hospital so much lately. So, that's what people thought of me? Naruto! Kakashi Sensei didn't go senile because he was hospitalized. He's always been like that! Ah, uh, Sakura. I don't think you're helping him any. So much for dignity. You got it pretty rough, don't you? Well, either way, the mission's complete. Let's head back. Is it okay to just leave these guys? Yeah, I've requested a retrieval unit. There are a lot of them, after all. That's the 
him release Jinchuriki. I thought Lord Gensui finished him. Is he still alive? No, Lord Gensui died in vain. He attacked our village. I'll never forgive you. I'll strike down our enemy with my own hands. Impossible! Gensui killed that nine-tailed beast! But you say it's alive? Yes. It wasn't just the nine tails. Kakashi of the Sharingan was there as- <sighs> So the leaf is planning yet another attack on the Hidden Dream? In that case, I have an idea of my own. You can't mean- not the three heads! If the worst comes to pass, we'll release the three-head seal and annihilate the Hidden Leaf! You must know just how dangerous that would be. It wouldn't stop with the Hidden Leaf. The neighboring countries would go up in flames as well. We're pulling innocent people. Even so, you did The Three Heads is our guardian spirit. I don't want it to attack another country either. However, as the leader of the Hidden Dream Village, I always have to consider the worst case scenario. Father. That is the fate of those born to the Tenro clan. Accept it. In that case, I'll put down the Jinchuriki myself, so we won't have to unseal the three heads. Nothing tastes better than ramen after a job well done! Aw, <laughs> oh, look at you eat. You haven't changed, Naruto. By the way, how did that kidnapping case turn out? Huh? You went to Blue Fire Falls, didn't you? How oh, that? It was nothing. We were done before breakfast, literally. Shikamaru found some moss, and that did it. Then the bandits were really weak. I see. Naruto! What's up, Sakura? Emergency mission. Team Kakashi's meeting at the main gate. Yeah, but I need to fuel up first. The ramen can wait. Leave it. What? But Uruka-sensei's paying! Hey, now. I never said I'd buy your meal. Please let me eat this bowl! What part of emergency don't you get? Sakura, you're starting to sound like Grandma Tsunade. I what?! Why, you little! <laughs> Kakashi Sensei, I brought him! <sighs> Naruto, what happened? Your face is so ugly, I hardly recognized you. So what, you're coming this time? Yes. Shikamaru is already on a mission with another team. Kakashi-sensei, these two don't know about the mission yet. Right. Here's the brief. Another victim was attacked by something in the Ishikiri Desert, to the west. So we're headed to the site. We're to look for clues. Again. It's regarding the kidnapping? Did they find out anything about the kidnappers? We haven't found any clues that point directly to a culprit yet. In any case, we're going to the site to hunt for clues. All right, let's go over the details of our assignment. On this mission, we'll be looking for clues that will shed some light on this latest incident in the Ishikiri Desert. Search the site and report back the minute you find anything. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir! It looks like this isn't over. Stubborn, aren't they?
Ryuka, why'd you stop us? Even if you take them on together, we'll never win. Because this guy's the fiend that took Lord Gensui's life! My name's Ryuka Tenro. I'll be fighting this battle! For now, draw back and regroup. What? Hey, Pinky, what are you babbling about? I killed somebody? What do you mean? Quit pretending! You destroyed our village! I won't let you say you forgot! Wait, what? Why would I destroy your village? Because of you, the village is in ruins. Many have lost their homes. And even more innocents died. I will never forgive you! The Hidden Leaf betrayed our village. We will be avenged. Remember that! What? What did I do? I didn't understand them either. Should we go after them? Wait. There's something else I want to confirm. Understood. She mentioned revenge. What did you do? It's a mistake, Sakura. I haven't done a thing. And actually, it looks to me like the Hidden Leaf is the one taking the damage. I've got a bad feeling about this. I only hope this doesn't get more serious. All right. There may still be some sort of clue left here, team. Check the area once more. After, we'll return to the village and report to the 5th Hokage. Meanwhile, while Team Kakashi was on their investigation in the western Ishikiri Desert, Be serious now! All you've done is use vulgar types of jutsu this whole time! Well, Naruto's developing the ultimate sexy ninjutsu. I can't let him beat me! The ultimate sexy ninjutsu? I can't let that pass me by. Tell me more in detail. They don't seem to have dropped by for a chat, do they? Are you okay? You're not hurt? We're fine. Thank you for your help. The fight hadn't even started yet. All right! I'm gonna fight too! No, you're not. Just stay back. Leave this to us. No! This is not a game! I know! But I'm a great Hidden Leaf Ninja too! I can't run from an enemy! We'll only get him away. Let's give them some space, Konohama. Here they come! Formation! Ino Shikacho! You all worked very hard. Oh no! No you don't! Ninja art! Shadow Possession Jutsu! <laughs> what style Jutsu? Go 
after them. Wait! This could be a trap. If we chase them blindly, we could be playing into their hands. Then what should we do? Let's report to the Hokage. Everything else can wait. This is turning into a real drag. While Shikamaru and the others were battling the mysterious ninja, Team Kakashi was on its way back to the hidden meat village. Kakashi Sensei, why didn't we follow those guys? If we'd gone after them, we might have learned something new! I don't know about that. What do you mean? The footprints. Footprints? Right. The footprints Shikamaru found at Blue Fire Falls were the same as the footprints in the desert. So, it really was them. But the ninja who attacked us left different footprints. Besides... Besides? There was no moss. Moss? What's that supposed to mean? It means that the kidnappers and the ninja who attacked us are two different groups. That's it. Let's go back and report. I see. This has gotten troublesome. <sighs> How come Konohamaru got kidnapped? I'm sorry, Nara. They caught us off guard. If we'd only paid more attention. Grandma, what are you dragging your feet for? Konohamaru's one of us! Quiet, Naruto. I don't need anyone to tell me that. You think I can be quiet when my friend's been kidnapped? All right, then tell us this. Do you know where the kidnappers are? I don't know, squat. But all we have to do is hunt down the guys who attacked us! I'm gonna find them, you'll see! Don't be so impatient. We all feel the same way. Kakashi, Yamato, what do you two think of this case? Yes, milady. There were peculiar footprints near both locations. With a rare moss that doesn't grow near the Hidden Leaf Village. Similar moss was found at the scene of our fight. I see. I've received similar reports from other units searching the scenes of the kidnappings. Are the results of the moss analysis in? Yes. It's called Mythic Beast Moss. Mythic, huh? What's that? It's moss that only grows in the forest of mythic beasts that surrounds the hidden dream village. Yamato, why? I see. 
You've had orders to spy on the Hidden Dream Village, haven't you? Yes, before. A guardian beast called the Three Heads is sealed in the Hidden Dream Village. Three Heads? Guardian beasts? Energy exists in the natural world, just as chakra exists in the human body. The beast is said to be a solid concentration of the energy that brings about cataclysms. In other words, it's an embodiment of energy that can cause earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The three heads' mouths emit energy waves. It's said that the first cry scorches mountains and plains, the second shakes the earth, and the third returns all to nothingness. In ancient times, people sealed it deep in the earth. However, in the distant past, even farther back than the Great Ninja War, the seal on the Three Heads was released just once. According to one account, even though the monster only cried once, the number of dead was easily over a thousand. One cry? Ever since then, the Three Heads has been sealed in the Hidden Dream Village as a taboo which must never be loosed. What if the seal on the Three Heads was released? then the whole world might be destroyed, along with the Hidden Leaf Village. Lady Tsunade, terrible news! There's been a report that a giant monster has appeared at the main gate! What? No, the Three Heads? We can't just sit here, I'm going! Naruto, wait! That idiot. chink in your defense. However, I cannot lose with Taijutsu. I will hold nothing back now. I demand no less. Sakura! You're in bad shape. 
had a lot of chocolate stuff in them. And? Will he be okay? His life isn't in danger. It looks as though anyone who's hit with this jutsu has their chakra drawn out over a period of time as it's absorbed into the tailed beast. That was a really close one. But I feel as though I've seen this person somewhere before. He's a Chunin from our village. There's no mistake. His photo was in the mission outline. It does look that way. Kakashi-sensei! You're late! There was something bothering me. Besides, I never thought something akin to a tailed beast would show up. That said, to think they turned someone they kidnapped into a false-tailed beast. I don't like that one bit! I can't just shut up and let them do this! I'm gonna find them and send them flying! How is the one who collapsed? Thanks to Sakura's medical attention, he'll survive. Good. But why would Gara's monster raccoon be here? We don't know anything for certain yet. But this one tail's likeness seems to have been some form of transformation jutsu. The sort that uses a person's life energy to produce power. You mean, they're kidnapping people to make those tailed beasts? It's likely. Man, talk about playing nasty. A jutsu which creates a tailed beast using a human body as a foundation. Captain Yamato, do you know anything about that? Oh, uh, only rumors, back when I was in the Yambu Black Ops. As long as they have bodies to use, they can produce as many as they want. They don't risk injuring themselves either. What a convenient jutsu. People aren't things! Hmm? Uh, I didn't mean to imply. And Konohamaru was kidnapped so they could make one of those monsters? Yes. In all probability. You kidding me? Then why aren't we on our way to save him right now? Haste makes nothing but waste. Why don't you cool your head a bit? Like I'm just gonna stand around? Nobody else is gonna go. I'll go by myself! Kakashi, Yamato. Ma'am. As of now, your orders are to investigate the hidden dream village and to apprehend the kidnappers. I want Team Kakashi. That's Kakashi, Naruto, Sakura, and Sai to head straight to the site as an advanced unit. Shikamaru, Ino, and Choji. Team up with Yamato as a four-man cell. Give support from behind as Team Yamato. Right! Hang on, Konohamaru. I'm coming to save you. You can show your face around here. But you won't go any farther. I'll finish you off. I'll defeat you and offer you to soothe Lord Gensui's soul. Regret your foolishness in the next world. Prepare yourselves! This isn't enough to defeat you. I have no choice. I'll release my true power as well. He turned into a monster! Die, the flames of our hatred won't be quenched. Not until I defeat you, the monster who attacked our village. I'm telling you, I never attacked the Hidden Dream Village! That Nine Tails is solid proof. You are the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. Who else could control it? Well, the 
very least, even if I die too, I'll drag you down into hell with me at the end! It'll be my pride. I, who was given life in this village! What is this? I sense chakra. I guess this isn't just mist. Taisa! Yomito, it's too early to die yet. There's no help in it. We'll postpone our fight for now. What? Hey, wait! We're not done talking! The place known as the Forest of Mythic Beasts begins just beyond here. If you think you can handle it, I'll take you on there. You have something to say? Come into the forest! The Forest of Mythic Beasts? Don't run away, Naruto Uzumaki! As Naruto and company headed for the hidden dream village, Four ninja were on the move, not far away. Sasuke, come on. Let's take a break. Hey! So we get you! You jerk! You're already sitting down! If I don't hydrate regularly, I'm gonna collapse. So what? Go on and evaporate for all I care! Come on, Jugo! Back me up here! The air in this forest is fresh. It feels good. It's calming. Jeez. Who's there? Show yourselves. I thought they'd be a bit more fun, but I guess I was asking for too much. They were a bit too early challenging us. Shut your yaps, we get to. <laughs> Those eyes. They look like the eyes. Of that guy in the black cloak. Is, is he your ally? What? Someone else had these eyes? Where is he? Tell me! Itachi is here. What should we do? The Hidden Dream Village. Meanwhile, Naruto and the others reached the Forest of Mythic Beasts. This mist is really something. Further in, it's even darker. An enemy? Finally caught up to. Ah, Captain Yamato! Come on, don't scare us like that. We weren't trying to startle you. Yeah, we were guarding your rear just in case the enemy mounted a surprise attack. When moving in vertical formation, the chance of an advancing unit being attacked from the rear is high. What he said. Kakashi. If we keep on this way, we'll only get lost and fall prey to the enemy's jutsu. I see. You've been here before, haven't you? So what should we do then? If we detour around the forest, there's a place called the Hill of Illusions. We can look out over the forest from there. Plus, we can send up a strong gust of wind up there and disperse the mist. That's about our only choice. All right. I think we'll leave that to you guys. My team will go on ahead. What? You know the area, you should be the one to go. That's true, but... Okay then, hurry. It's dangerous to move before the mist clears. Well, maybe we should wait until our team rendezvous to go in. But look at these guys, Naruto especially. He 
think they can wait that long? That, that's true, but it's too dangerous to go in without exceptional tracking abilities. Tracking abilities, huh? Be great if we had the Byakugan with us. Uh, in that case, I I'll go with you. Hinata, when did you... Why are you three here? The Hokage sent us as reinforcements. How could you leave us behind? That was very mean of you! Naruto, I will accompany you from here on in! I'll go with Team Yamato. Thanks. Now we're all set. Okay, Yamato, we're counting on you. Understood, Kakashi. All right. Team Kakashi will now have Hinata and Lee. We'll head into the forest. Make sure to keep an eye on everyone's position as you move. Got it? Yes, sir! like Yamato and the others are doing their job, too. I guess it can't be helped. I'll show you my special jutsu! <laughs> now your attacks are nothing to fear! Come! The true terror begins now! from the village chief. The village chief? Fine. Hey, wait! Kakashi! We made it somehow. Well, where's the enemy? They already ran. What? Says the one who destroyed it. Who are you? I am Enzo Tenro. As chief of the Hidden Dream Village, I'll have you answer for the crime of attacking the village and wounding so many of its citizens. You people are all treating me as if I did this. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. It was Konohamaru! What are you talking about? You're the one who's pretending! Knock it off! Hmm. I guess there's really no point in talking to a monster. All right, proud ninja of the Hidden Green. Now is the time to combine our strength and fight for the prestige of the village! Right! right. Can you hear them? Those are the screams of the people you've killed! This is a fight to avenge my fallen ally, Gensui! Look, I don't know who this Gensui is! 
weak I is! Keep telling you I didn't do it! Father! Chief! Chief! Who are you? How could you? Wait. Father. Listen to me, Ryuka. Now is the time to release the seal on our village's guardian spirit, the Three Eds, and protect the village. Release it? The seal can only be released with the hidden jutsu of the Tenro clan. You have that power, you can do it. M me? Defeat the hidden leaf traitors in the name of the Tenro clan! Uh. Yomido. Kaisa, take care of Ryuka. Sir. It's like I'm gonna let this happen. I will allow no intruders. Even if our entire clan is destroyed, we will strike back at the hidden leaf. Surrender to your fate! <laughs> Yamato, you handle this. Neji, Lee, and Sai, we're going after them. Yes, sir. They set off in pursuit of her, but... Answer my question. Why are you here? I heard they were making false-tailed beasts in the hidden dream village. I came to see for myself. Don't tell me you're still trying for the hidden leaf. Don't worry. I don't intend on fighting you now. That was Itachi Uchiha. Do we need to go after him? No. For now, we need to follow the Hidden Dream Ninja. Let's hurry. Are you sure it's alright to ignore Pain's orders? You were told to destroy the Fakes, remember? I doubt I'll have to. The leaf will do it for us. Meanwhile... <coughs> Stop! I'd rather die than accept help from the hidden leaf! Please, you gotta believe me! I wasn't the Ninetales that attacked the hidden dream village! You're still spouting that nonsense, even now? Where's your proof, then? Who's there? I have no more use for you, Enzo. Th that voice... Gensui... You're alive? My thanks, Enzo. I've been waiting for you to unseal the three heads. Thanks to you, everything's going according to plan. What do you mean? Explain yourself! Only the Tenro clan can release the seal on the Three Heads. If my ambition is to be fulfilled, the power of the Three Heads is vital. So, you set this up? You're just figuring this out? You're so easy, Enzo. Far too easy. Because of you, people underestimate the village. That said... Uh, uh, uh. 
We deceived you quite well. Your orders, Lord Gensui? How could this be? Do you think nothing of human life? It's a cheap price to pay. What are a few lives if they help the village prosper? Was the Nine Tails that attacked the village that day your doing as well? After the Great Ninja War, when peace had made the Hidden Leaf Village weak, the Nine Tailed Fox appeared. It practically destroyed the village and took a great many lives. People called the event a tragedy, but the Hidden Leaf Village also gained much from it. What are you talking about? They gained purpose, the purpose to prevent such from happening again. Not only did it serve to band the village's ninja together, they also gained a powerful weapon. That is you, Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> the power sealed within you. The Nine Tails sealed within you is the Hidden Leaf's ultimate weapon. Treat me like I'm some stupid weapon! Why are you angry? You should know. <sighs> the villagers saw you as the Nine Tails who destroyed the village, and they hated you. You must have wondered why this had to happen to you. You must have hated and resented the villagers as well. Remember, think of the contemptuous looks they gave you. Those days of loneliness as you withstood the villagers' glares. Yeah, I was lonely. But I didn't give up. I kept trying to make people know and accept me. That helped me to make friends. You pitiful brat. You haven't even noticed they've been using you. In that case, let's have a friend of yours finish you off. Konamaru! Naruto! Forget about me! Just run! You idiot! You think a guy who turns tail and abandons his friends could ever become Hokage? Let's dispense with the charades. Stop! worked very hard. got quite a lot of chakra sucked out of you. Relax. I'm sorry. If we'd saved you before you got kidnapped... You know what? It was scary being all alone. But I knew you guys would come. I knew you'd save me. <laughs> of course. You're our friend. So the brat was useless, was he? You jerk! How dare you do that to Konohamaru! Stop this, Kensui! That's enough! 
Why would you dirty your hands with a deed like this? I knew you wouldn't understand. The Tenro clan are outsiders. Originally, it was we of the Amagiri clan who built the hidden dream. Why bring up that old story? You came only later, using the three-head sealing jutsu as a shield, and you took over our village. Do you know how humiliating that was? When a Tenro became village chief, the Amagiri clan's history of oppression began. The poverty of the village, and the war that brought even more sacrifice. All the blame went to the Amagiri, and our clan was exiled from the village. We were shackled, forced to walk in the shadows. Do you know how painful it is for a clan to live so? <sighs> I will strike the Tenro from the founding chronicles of the Hidden Dream Village, and retake it for the Yamakiri! I'll control the world with the power of these false-tailed beasts and the Three Heads. I'll create the utopia that our clan has longed for! And this is why you deceived even the villagers?! Ambitions can't be realized without sacrifices. Why, you?! The stage is set. Enzo, I'll show you the ultimate tragedy. Look forward to it. <laughs> Gensui! Mister, you okay? I'm sorry. This sin rests on the head of our village. It's fine. It's not your fault, mister. But listen. Who cares about his ambition? I'd never forgive anyone who betrays his friends that easily. There's a lava cavern up ahead. Go there and stop Ryuka. Don't let Gensui use the three heads. Right. Leave it to us. finally reached the center. Give it your all, team. You got it! Leave it to us! Chapter 13! The Hidden Dream versus Heavy! As Naruto and company pursued Ryuka... There's someone on the ground. Wake up. There's something I want to ask you. Is he dead? No, only unconscious. Cut him. Treat him. Why do I have to treat this old geezer? He may know about Itachi. What should we do? Take care of them, but avoid hitting anything vital. <laughs> Too kind as usual. This doesn't even count as a warm-up. Those eyes... What are you people? You people. What do you mean? A man in a black cloak with those same eyes passed through a short while ago. Where is he? I... I do not know. He left in a hurry. Where'd he go? The man's close to death. We should stop.
Scotty, search the surrounding area for Chuck. He may still be nearby. Sasuke, you jerk! Every time you open your mouth, you boss me around! There was a Chakra Trace that had the same air as yours. He isn't close anymore, though. I don't think we can catch up. Why? There's an unusual number of ninja in this area. Something must have gone down. There's a ninja hound, too. A ninja hound? From the Hidden Leaf Village? We have no choice, then. We'll head for our original destination. I will find you, Itachi. As Sasuke and the others searched for Itachi, Beast deceive you. He's right. He'll just betray us again. Our top priority now is to release the three heads. I'm not the one who attacked your village. This guy named Gensui framed me. Be silent. Lord Gensui died saving the village. Don't you dare say Gensui's alive. Father is. Now we know he's lying. Lord Gensui died before our very eyes. I'm telling you, he didn't! Ah, I'm not letting you go! Yuka, hurry and release that seal! Oh no! The seal! Ryuka, now! Right! Ryuka, stop! Do you know what you're trying to do? I know. I know! can't lose this fight, no matter the cost! Release that seal, and there'll be no taking it back! You might destroy the whole world! What do you know? We're to lose our village either way. We'll take everyone else down with us! Three Heads is the Hidden Dream Village's last hope. So I will... Release the seal! Why? Why won't you understand? Deceive, that's all! You, I'm begging you, trust me! Even if you're right, it's too late. I can't stop. This is the three heads? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Naruto, it's dangerous here. Retreat! Ryuka! Ryuka, you alright? Yes. Don't mind me. Use this for the three heads. Uh, Ryuka! Ryuka! So this is the power of the Three Heads. Chapter 15! Gensui's Malice! <laughs> Thank you for releasing the seal. Well done. Father? Lord Gensui. You died, along with the Nine Tails. Why are you... You've worked hard, Tenryu girl. 
Now that I have the power of the three heads, I have no use for the two of you. I've waited a great many years for this chance. Now I can finally put an end to this fight between the Tenro and the Amagiri. Have you gone mad? Say what you will. If you must curse something, curse fate for making you a Tenro. Now then, why don't I trophy my first war? And Yomito. How can this be? Taisa, the blood of the Amagiri also flows in you. Give your all to restore our clan. Go on, finish them off with your own two hands. In that case, I have no need of you either. I don't have time to play along with such childish games. People who don't take care of their friends are scum! You think a guy who doesn't care if he hurts his friends can be a village chief? It isn't violence or power that makes a country strong! It's the friendship that holds us together! Cut! For the sake of ambition, some ties must be severed. It took a lot for me to win these bonds. I was always alone, but now I have friends who acknowledge me. Bonds with friends are important. That's what made me strong. Bonds are just an illusion for weaklings to cling to. They're no illusion. Learn that from our teachers. I finally found a place I belonged. As long as I have these bonds, I can't lose no matter what! I can't afford to! <laughs> then I'll break those bonds of you and shatter your illusions. Go on, Tysa. Strike him down! All right, let's go back and report.
Tysa! Tysa, you all right? <sighs> Ryuka, Yomito, I'm sorry. My father, the village. It's not your fault. I'm sorry we blamed it all on you. Never mind that. We have to stop that monster! If only I believed you. This never would have happened. I'm sorry. You said that that monster was your last hope. Remember? <laughs> and don't give up until the very end! Stop the three heads, no matter what it takes! Lady Tsunade, the enemy is closing in on us. We need to mobilize the Anbu Black Ops and expel the enemy with everything we've got. Wait. Let's trust Naruto and the others. But... If we let our internal guard down, there's a danger that the enemy will use the confusion to mount a general attack on us. Lady Tsunade. It's a strange power that boy has. It makes everyone want to take a bet on him. We're counting on you, Naruto. Good. Keep going. Crush the Hidden Leaf Village! Not a chance! You... Promised Ryuka and the others! Promised I'd stop the Three Heads! Hold him here. Don't let him get to the Leaf Village. Stop. Stubborn. But now, the battle is mine! I'll show you the power of the Three Heads! I won't let you do that! Ryuka! Now! Do it, Naruto! Don't worry about me! Very brave, aren't you, little girl? I started this. At least let me try to do something right for a change here at the end. Too bad. I'm not so decrepit I'd let a child like you finish me. Perfect. Ryuka, I'll use you! and annihilate the Hidden Leaf Village! The Three Heads and the Nine Tails. Won't be easy to fight them both. The Nine Tails is charging into the Leaf. If this keeps up, the village will be... We must make our move, or it'll be too late. No time for strategy! All we can do now is flatten that guy! Save Ryuka! 
Naruto, don't be reckless! Naruto, leave the Nine Tails to us and go after him. We'll fight in your place. We will protect the Hidden Leaf Village! In exchange, we'll leave the rest to you. Trust us! Guys! We have a lot to protect in the Hidden Leaf Village. Countless numbers to protect. Up until now, all we've done is let our teachers protect us. It's about time we start doing some protecting, too. Shikamaru! It's a drag, any way you slice it. But we can't stay snot-nosed brats forever. So go on, Naruto! Thanks, you guys. I leave the Nine Tails to you, Yamato. Right. We'll protect the Hidden Leaf Village. We'll risk our lives. Eno, treat her right now. You'll be all right now. The hidden leaf? Thank you. I'm in your debt. There's no need to thank us. Take care of the rest, Naruto.
Mission complete. Just a little more, and my clan's ambition would have been realized. After the Tenro chased our clan from the village, the path we walked was truly one of thorns. We ate dirt, drank filthy water, and lived only for revenge on the Tenro. Know what that feels like? I wanted to make the Tenro walk that same path. To make them carry the sins they have sown. Is that all you've got to say? You just keep blabbing about stupid vengeance! Stupid? He's right. All of this was brought about between the Tenro and the Amagiri. However, the Amagiri held the burden of the two. Even though I was your ally, your friend, I could not sense your pain. Please, I am sorry. Enzo. about the Tenro or the Amagiri, but you're both from the same village, right? He's right. We're all villagers of the Hidden Dream. Sure, we fight sometimes. But we all love our village. All of us. We may not be able to bury the past right away, but if we try to understand each other, a path will surely reveal itself. Isn't that right, Naruto? Yeah. Gensui, the times have changed. I'm sure that the future will be different. Say, can I tell you something? And don't laugh. I've got a dream. A really big dream, fitting for the hidden dream village. Dream? Yeah. A village where no one's bound by grudges. And everyone can wear a smile on their face. That's my dream. Is that even possible? Yes, we can do it. As long as we have bonds. Naruto, I owe you my gratitude. Huh? Thanks to you, I remember to believe in my friends. Thank you. I... I was just trying to... Save my friends in the Hidden Leaf Village, that's all! dream incident has failed. I suppose it was too great a task for a restless bunch of backwards nobodies. Well, never mind. 
There'll be other chances. Other chances for me to become Hokage. Take a break, okay? Not again! Suigetsu, so how many breaks are you gonna take, huh? We're in a hurry. Itachi, just you wait. village for all the help we received. You even donated lumber for us to rebuild. I don't know how we can thank you. Ah, there's no need for thanks. Right, Yamato? That's easy for you to say. This hurts like you wouldn't believe. Hey, don't be like that. We're all counting on you, Captain Yamato. That's right. Just think, ninjutsu is useful for things besides fighting. Yamato is brilliant. He's the only underclassman I ever acknowledged. Though, uh, you know, if you're tired... Woodstyle! Giant wooden pillar jutsu! Pretty easy, huh? Honestly, as a Joni, he should have more dignity. Abisu Sensei? Hmm? Sexy Jutsu! Ryuka version! <laughs> You're pretty easy yourself, Abisu Sensei! What do you think, Naruto? My new Jutsu's pretty sharp, huh? <laughs> That jutsu's nothing, Konohamaru! Check out my newly developed super sexy ninjutsu! Here I go! A disgrace to the ah! <laughs> You guys are hilarious. We'll have to work hard not to lose to them. Yomito, it wouldn't hurt you to be more cheerful. I'll live my life to atone for the crimes my father committed. I won't let us start down the wrong path again. It's not just you, Tyson. We're with you too. We'll protect the hidden dream village with the power of our bond. Just the way you protected the hidden leaf village. And we'll make our village just as splendid as yours is. You'll see. <laughs> We're not gonna lose either! <laughs> 